Hello and welcome back to another Tomo Watch watch review. Today I'm looking at the Pagani Design PD1767 Panerai Homage. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so as it really helps for me to create more watch content. As usual, the link for this watch will be in the video description below. Let's get into it. As you can see, I've gone for the green dial variation. There is also black and blue. I just fancied getting the green dial as I don't have any green dial watches in my collection. So I fancied getting this one as something a bit different. As you can see, this is clearly a homage of a Panerai um, with a few little differences and we'll go into those. On first looks, it does look like a pretty good watch. After having watched some previous reviews on this watch from other YouTubers, there are some little things that we need to look at and to see if Pagani Design have improved those points. So let's go through the general specifications of this watch. It comes in at 41 millimeters with a thickness of 14.5 millimeters. It has 200 meters of water resistance and features the Hangzhou 2C10 automatic movement. It has a 22 millimeter lug width and it cost me 62 pounds after VAT. So the watch comes in at 41 millimeters, but I think it wears slightly bigger than that due to these sort of squared off lugs and this chunky crown here, but it seems to fit the wrist quite nicely. All of the surfaces on the watch are brushed apart from a tiny chamfered edge here on the bezel. On the side of the case, you have Pagani design etched into the side there. I think this is a bit of a, a Marmite design cue on this watch. Either you like it or you don't. I quite like it. I don't have anything against it. I like the font that they've used. So yeah, I don't mind it at all. Coming over to the ground it is etched with the Pagani Design logo. You do have drilled lugs to make it easier to get the straps out, which is a nice touch. Yeah, fully brushed finish on the bezel here. The first four, five minute iterations on the bezel are actually loom pips. And then you have chromed dots here. And then at the 30 and 45, you have etched um, circles with 30 and 45 in there. The general finishing on the case is pretty good. There's a tiny little um, imperfection up here on the case. But apart from that, it's not too bad. It's not fantastic around these areas around the lugs, but for 60 pounds, it passes the grade. Now let's have a closer look at this bezel action because that is one of the things that let this watch down in previous reviews. There's a little bit of back play, maybe sort of one, one notch. And it's a little bit loose. But the actual action of the bezel is quite nice. But yeah, there is a little bit of play going on. But in certain positions, it's worse than others. In some positions, it doesn't hardly move at all. And then coming around to this side, there's a little bit of play. But it looks like they've tried to improve this from other YouTube videos that I've seen. So as you can see, there's two sub dials. On the left, you have the running seconds. And then on the right, you have a power reserve. You have uh, down on the left side, and then how, which I believe is high in French. Excuse my French, um, I don't really know how to say it. But it has a screw down crown. So if we unscrew the crown here. So the first position, if I wind it up, you'll see that power indicator going up. Next position is the date. And then final position, you set the time. All feels okay. Screws back in nicely. Yeah, it works fine. 
So having a closer look at the dial then, you have Pagani design automatic at 12 o'clock, divers 200 meters down towards the six and the date window at six o'clock. You have the round applied owl markers and at the 12 o'clock you have a sort of double baton marker. As mentioned on the bezel, the first four positions are actually loom pips. I'll put up a loom shot here. It features C3 loom, which shines quite nicely actually. Um, it's even applied on the little subdial hands. It does fade quite quickly on the subdial hands, but on the rest of the watch, it does stay for quite a long time. And I like the loom bezel. I think it looks really cool. Um, I went for the green dial, as you can see, there's black and blue. I think this particular shade of green is really nice. You have radial brushing on the bezel and you have these nice chunky sword style hands. So having a look at the case back, you have a custom Pagani design rotor covering that hangs out movement. Now hangs out do make quite cheap automatic movements. So the finishing isn't too bad, but it's not excellent when you look at it close up. But again, for a 60 pound watch, the finishing is fine and then you have the usual specs running around the outside stainless steel 200 meters water resistant pagani design and then the model number now the watch was supplied on this green canvas strap it's not too bad it's quite uh, rigid it's not very soft um, you get the pagani design signed clasp there which is brushed the actual hardware is quite nice, but the strap is uh, it's not very nice. But I'll put it on wrist so you can see how it looks. So there's the watch on my 7.5 inch wrist. Like I said, it is a 41 millimeter, but I think it wears bigger than that just because the kind of sh shape of the case, because it's that square case. Um, all the finishing is fine, and I think it looks nice down on wrist. Again, I'm not sure about that strap. It's not very soft and I'll definitely swap it out for something else. I do have a black leather strap, which I'm going to put on so you can see how it looks. Um, it does have drilled lugs, so it does make it slightly easier to change the strap. But yeah, I think in general, the style of this watch is really nice. I like it. Obviously it's a homage of the Panerai. So as long as you don't mind it looking like a, a more mainstream watch, then that's fine. Obviously it doesn't have the sort of signature crown guard that a Panerai does. Um, so in that way, it's a little bit unique to its design. But yeah, I really like the green color. The blue also looks particularly nice in the pictures. But yeah, in general, I think this is a nice looking watch. So here's the watch on a nice black leather strap that I had. With the watch having 22 millimeter lugs, um, I only had one strap to go on this. Um, so just to bear that in mind. But I think on a nicer strap, it does look quite nice. And obviously this leather strap is a lot more comfortable. It has black hardware, so it doesn't necessarily go with the watch. I'm not sure what color strap I'd wear this. I think the black looks quite nice. Or you might be even to get like a, a green leather or green sailcloth strap would also look quite good. Or even a uh, NATO as well. But like I said, I don't have any other 22 millimeter straps. So this is all you're seeing today. So just to finish off then, I think this is a nice little watch. For 60 pounds, you can't really go wrong. It's got a nice sapphire crystal and it seems to have anti-reflective coating. It looks like they've tried to improve some of the points that have been mentioned in previous reviews. The bezel is slightly better, but it's still not perfect. And all the finishing on, on the case seems to be pretty good, apart from this one little imperfection up here in the corner of the case. Um, the movement seems to work fine and is keeping okay time. Yeah, I think in general for £60, this is a good little watch. Let me know what you think, guys, and whether you've had one or whether you've had any problems. Um, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps for me to make more watch content for you guys to enjoy. I hope you've enjoyed this review, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.